We may be moving the clock backwards this weekend, but the football season marches forward tonight. For the Bobcats, not only is it the final home game, but it's also the final regular season game of the year. The defending state champions have found a groove in the month of October, winning three of their last four games. Tonight, they look to achieve their seventh victory of the year before taking a much-needed rest in their bye week prior to strapping it up to defend their title in the playoffs. It's November, which means hunting season for the most. But these Bobcats don't plan to be the ones hunted. They plan to do the hunt. And first step on the November agenda is the Carroll County Cavaliers. We've got every single detail and down of tonight's matchup between your Rafford Bobcats and the visiting Carroll County Cavaliers. Next up, here on WRAD. Jaden Hendricks and Luke Woodard on the right side of the field, out wide. Sincere Taylor, Colton Gardner Rollins on the left. J.D. Grubb goes in motion toward our near sideline. Luke Gaither pump fakes. He scrambles to his left, throws it, finds Sincere Taylor. He bounces upfield. He's up to the 40, to the 35, to the 30, to the 25, out to the 20, and finally brought down at the Carroll County. They're going to say he actually stepped out at the Carroll County 20-yard line. A, a huge gain by the Bobcats. 32 yards there on that completion from Gaither to the senior on senior night, C Sincere Taylor. Hand off to J.D. Grubb. He bounces it to the left, got some lead blockers. He's getting to that first down marker. Might be a little short right there, but another nice run by J.D. Grubb. Good, good start to the running game. J.D. Grubb looking strong tonight, getting to the edge. Second and seven for the Cavaliers. 4.30 remaining here in the opening quarter. The score is 0-0 zero to zero here on senior night here in Norman G. Lindenberg Field. Fake pitch to the right. Smoot, the ball flies up in the air, and everyone's fighting for it, still fighting for it on the ground. Sam Hanabrani points as if it's Rafford ball, and he does it yep. again. And the officials... Are going to give the official call. It's Bobcat football. Bobcats force their first turnover on defense tonight here with four minutes remaining in the opening quarter. And the offense will step onto the field for the third time tonight and hope to crack the scoreboard column. Before the turnover and downs, Bobcat offense back on the field behind the leadership of Luke Gaither. He receives the snap, looking to his right, now looking toward the middle. He finds... He finds Bryant Weaver who bobbled it. Now he caught it, made a few guys miss, and he's brought down. What a play right there by Bryant Weaver. He bobbled that thing twice, brought it in, got upfield, and got 12 on first down. Then he's sending out number 26, Lewis Webster, the junior kicker for the Bobcats. We've seen his leg pretty improved this season. He's coming out to get us on the scoreboard for the first time. Cole Martin to hold the ball. Clean snap, clean hold. Kick is up. He's got enough distance, and of course it's good. So the way the Bobcats get on the scoreboard is a Lewis Webster field goal. Bobcats go up 3-0 with 2-10 remaining here in the opening quarter. Motion this time. First time we've seen motion out of the Cavaliers. All to the left. Snap comes. He pitches it out wide to number five, Horton, and he gets stood up and hit by the Bobcats right there. Yeah, that was uh, their first time we see him try to pitch it out, and that did not go well. We've got speed to burn. And Sam Canabrani came in again like a missile. That's why I start calling him the missile. He came in and just laid him down in a you know perfect form tackle for a loss. Bobcats walk a lot of guys up to the line on this run heavy offense. Ten mi minutes remaining here in the first half. Bobcats up three to nothing. The snap is high. Smoot is going to get it. He retrieves it now, trying to find where he's going to go with it. And he's brought down way in the backfield. He's going to be brought down all the way back to the 42-yard line, so that's going to be a loss of seven, which is going to force a third and long. Trips to the left, single wide out to the right. That's Jaden Hendricks. J.D. Grubb on the right side. Luke Gaither looking to his left toward the trip side. He's going to have to scramble now. Gets out of the end zone. He's got green grass in front of him. He's scrambling to the first down marker, puts his shoulder down, and gets a big gain and a first down for the Bobcats. Second and eight right now. Gaither whips it out quickly to Jaden Hendricks. He's coming across the field. Made one guy miss. Makes a second guy miss and two guys had to bring him down. And that's enough for another Bobcat first down by number 10, Jaden Hendricks. 3.33 remaining here in the second quarter. Luke Gaither, J.D. Grubb to his right hip. He claps his hands. Gaither looks. He looks over the middle. Finds Luke Woodard. Luke Woodard makes a great move upfield right there at the sticks. And the official gives the motion, and it's a Bobcat first down. Bobcats line up quickly again. They get to the line of scrimmage. Now they look over to the sideline, receiving the call. Ball on the 42-yard line of the Bobcats' territory. Gaither receives a snap, looking over the middle again. And he finds Jaden Hendricks this time, who kind of bobbles it, but receives it in, and he gets upfield. And he's brought down now at the Carroll County 44-yard line. Yeah, that's a five-yard penalty there. So second and 15. 
from the 24-yard line. Luke Gaither kind of happy feet right now. He's scrambling to his left. He's being pursued. He kind of flips it out to J.D. Grubb to the 20, to the 15, down to the 13-yard line. What a play by Luke Gaither. Had two guys about to bring him down. Just flips it awkwardly to J.D. Grubb, who picks up some big yardage there. Third and four for the Bobcats. Gaither claps his hands. Looking downfield again. Happy feet once again. He throws it in traffic and finds a receiver. Well, that's senior, sincere Taylor. <clears throat> that's going to be a first down for the Bobcats. If the Bobcats come out with a field goal, I think Cavaliers would consider that a victory. Handoff to Grubb, and he's not going to make – he's going to make sure it's not a field goal this time. The handoff to Grubb goes right up the middle. He falls backwards into the end zone to bring the Bobcat lead to 9 to nothing with the chance of extra point here in a few moments. Cole Martin out to hold it. Lewis Webster, the kick. The kick is up. And it is good. Bobcats finally get into the end zone here on senior night with 141 remaining here in the first half. It brings the lead. Bobcats 10, Cavaliers nothing. You're listening to Bobcat football here on WRAD. Second and 25, 25 seconds remaining. Jet motion. Isaiah Easter going to the left. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Bright Smoot with the snap. He's going to have to scramble up the middle, steps him to the pocket, and he's racked and brought down. That's number 50, Josh Porter, who comes up with the sack. Sam McGrady takes the snap, and he's going to throw it, and he throws an interception, and guess who it is? It's number seven, Pace Prelo, his fourth interception, and the first time it didn't go for a touchdown. I know. Come on, Pace, <laughs> you let me down, buddy. <laughs> so here's the danger zone for a quick offense. You force an INT, pick up a first down, two incompletions, now you're at third and ten. So Bobcats have some work to do from the 32-yard line in Carroll County Territory. Luke pump fakes, he throws it deep, he's got Sincere Taylor behind the DB, he catches it, and that's a touchdown! Bobcats, Luke Gaither to Sincere Taylor for 32 yards. Beautiful pass, beautiful pass by Luke Gaither. He does a little pump fake to the left, had Sincere Taylor streaking up the middle of the field, behind the defensive backs, lays it right into his arms. He catches it right at the goal line, falls in the end zone. Beautiful pass. Cole Martin back to be the holder. He gets the nod from Lewis Webster. Snap is good, hold is good. Kick is a little wobbly, but it goes through, so it's good as well. Bobcats come out, force an interception out of the halftime break, and they get a 32-yard connection from Luke Gaither to the senior on senior night, Sincere Taylor. The score is 17 to nothing. A little bit more juice coming from the, the offense with McGrady at quarterback. This time handoff goes out to the outside. He's trying to string it to the sideline, but Cole Martin is just too fast. He brings him down at the Raffer Bobcat 35. McGrady really taking leadership at the quarterback position. Gets his line down in stance, gives the handoff, and this time the Bobcats are there to welcome the running back with a wall of tackling number 20, Aiden Dickerson. The sophomore was welcomed pretty quickly by some of the big boys of the Bobcats. Fourth and three, 536 remaining here in the third quarter. McGrady takes the snap, looking immediately to the left. He tucks it and runs, and the Bobcats knew it was coming. The quarterback draw does not work, and you got a host of Bobcats that come up with a big defensive stop. Huge, huge play there. Um, it's a great-looking play. I thought they were going to have us fooled, but the Bobcats read that. They'd seen that play before. They converged on him right at the line of scrimmage. Um, turnover on downs. Ball spotted at the 42-yard, excuse me, 10-yard penalty. Passes down deep. He's got Colton Garden-Ross down the middle of the field. He catches it down to the five and touchdown. Bobcats, Luke Gaither, the number three, Colton Gardner-Rollins from the 42-yard line. Touchdown, Bobcats. Lewis Webster out to kick the extra point. Good snap, good hold, and good kick. The Bobcats extend the lead 24 to nothing here on senior night. Kerr County hands it off, and Horton has no room at all. Yeah. That was William D. Hart Lewis who just rudely throws him down for a loss of gain. He just had the opportunity to throw him down. There were about three Bobcats there that could have gotten him, and Sam Cannon Bryan was coming from behind. Um, he had no place to go, and he was going to lose yards no matter what. Second and 18. And McGrady's having to just step into the pocket. And actually, he is sacked for a loss of one right there. So the Bobcat defense showing no mercy right now on the Cavaliers. No, that was the missile. I'm going to keep calling him the missile. Um, that was Sam Cannon Bryant coming in there and just tracking him down. He had no time to throw. And Grady Questenberry back to punt it for the Cavaliers. And it's oh. blocked by Pace Prelo. It's spinning. It's picked up by the Bobcats. Essex Williams picks it up right there and downed on the 11-yard line. 
But Pace Prelo, second straight week with a blocked punt. Cole Martin out to hold this kick for Webster. Gets the nod. Snap is good. Hold is good. Kick is up. Plenty of distance. And that kick is good. From 31 yards out, Lewis Webster attacks three more on for the Bobcats. Bring in the score to 27 to nothing here on senior night. 11.07 remaining in this ball game. Yeah, Carroll County quarterback going right up. McGrady under the center. He's backing up the pass. And the Bobcats aren't fooled either. He's brought down by a sack. Aiden White, number 80, the senior on senior night. Wasn't tricked at all and brought him down for a sack. Third and eight. 4.06 remaining the clock. Luke Gaither actually dropping a pass, and he throws it deep and way deep. Tosslin for position, laying out for the catch. For the completion is number 28, I believe. I can't see that far over. Demarie Brown. Well, for the last time tonight, the Bobcats finish the season 7-3 and three with a shutout over the, uh, the Carroll County Cavaliers. Final score, 27 to nothing. Thanks for listening tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Bye week next week, and then it's playoff time. Friends, as always, it's a great night to be a Bobcat, and God bless.